I'm sure glad we went 24 and not 20 on that bench. It's going to be good at 24. You can move now. Love you. <laughs> right on. Hey. Now I got to go make the sights. Where's your glasses at? All right, all right, all right. Right on. the clutch so that it doesn't sink the heads too far. It just sinks them just perfect. I was not on board with this whole idea of a YouTube channel. Julie had talked to Melanie and they decided she was going to do a, a vlog called Traveling Mama and Melanie wanted like a thousand dollars for a computer and cameras and all this stuff and I was like okay because I am the honey carpenter I get her what she wants but wasn't real excited and then Julie came over and she was all like looking at my shop and some projects I'd done she's like your husband's brilliant and I was like wait a second maybe I do like this gal <laughs> right she's kind of smart she recognizes no. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, and then she basically told Melanie, change your direction, you just need to follow your husband around with the camera. Yeah. And that's how the Honeydew Carpenter was born, from Julie discovering that this would be a cool thing to do. And we started doing it, and it was fun, and it's really taken off, and uh, Julie has been a really big blessing for us and our family. It's been fun, huh? Yeah, it's been It's awesome. been a lot of fun. I saw a message the other day on one of my videos and we really appreciate everything you do for Julie. I'm here to tell you, there is no way ever uh, that we could ever repay Julie for everything that she's done for Melanie and I and our family. I don't know, so. I have a pretty good, cool stove and a really, <laughs> a really, really nice table here that my computer's on and I know how many hours went into that, so it's, it's mutual. Right, right. Something about these sides I think should probably explain I don't know if you can look down it and see how it's curved this way, just a oh, little bit. Oh, it is bit. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I did that on purpose. And the way I achieved that was, when I before I clamped it, I stood on it and flexed it over a 2x4 so it had a slight curve in it, and then I screwed it that way. The reason being is because when I put these on, there's going to be a lot of pressure pushing out, and I don't want them to warp. I am still going to put some uh, some connection. What? Why are those already on? I'm sorry, I should have had you record me put these on. Because it's actually hard to do to get a piece of flat sheet metal screwed down without getting any ripples in it. That's not my fault. Seriously. <laughs> I've come to expect it. Okay. So now I gotta get on my line. See, that's amazing how you do that actually. Thank you, baby. And you don't want to snip all the way to the end of your snips. Because if you do, it'll leave little ridges like that. So you just, you just go down until, and then take some more. destroyed my perfectly functional heat riser at the end of the project so that it's not that they broke it's that they just came apart 
And so Darwin just decided that he's going to do it again. Look at that one. It like actually just. Yeah, it just, just pulled out. Yeah, it did. We've been working on a mass bench for Julie's rocket mass heater. And in my attempt to go ahead and dissect and dig into the stove and see what was going on inside of it after a week of uh, burning it, through a bunch of different circumstances, whatever the case is, my heat riser got dropped and it all busted apart. Um, so all I can say is back to the drawing board. We put the stove back together with a different riser and it wasn't working for a myriad of reasons. Uh, the dimensions, uh, it was a commercial uh, fire brick riser and my aircrete riser performed way way better. So, but I still thought it was a little bit brittle. I have another one in the mix and I was going to put it in but it is still green and not cured out and sometimes especially when you're working with concrete you just gotta have some patience if you guys like what we're doing go ahead and like and subscribe and give us the thumbs up and uh, keep watching we'll get this thing right I'll stick with it until I figure it out and get it perfect and then we're gonna send out the plans and the dimensions and everything that's gonna work for anyone who wants to kind of recreate it for themselves.